Airbnb is driving long-term residents out of their neighborhoods. Anytime you put something in place, you want to see what sort of consequences uh, have occurred as a result of it. If you go on Airbnb, you'll see it's becoming more and more popular in the city of New Orleans. But is it coming at a cost? We don't know most of our neighbors because they're nonstop, in and out, people from all over the place. Michael Musa lives on Governor Nichols Street in his block. Half the houses, half are Airbnbs. We'll have some guests that we notice that stay that are really respectful, they're nice, but then we'll have they'll have groups of people that are just, you know, 10, 20 people at a time. The city has rules in place to prevent overcrowding. They even require Airbnbers to put signs like this in their window with their phone number. So residents who live in the community have a lifeline if there's a problem. The question, though, is, is it working? I am not happy with the level of enforcement that I've seen from the administration with regards to Airbnb. Thursday, City Council President Jason Williams plans to sit down with the council, proposing a study to see if some of the rules and regulations already in place are effective. Um, I have not seen the level of compliance that was promised uh, by the platforms and the, and the, and the Airbnb companies. And, and if there is not effective enforcement, then we don't have anything. Williams said he's spoken with residents who live in Musa's neighborhood. Many of those residents hoping the city will consider a cap on the number of short-term rentals in just one area.